Hi everyone, my name is Kim. I am with the Bella Vintage We Loved and I am located in the uh, like St. Pete Clearwater area of Florida if you've ever been down here. And I'm just really happy to be here on the YouTube channel today. I am doing a paint challenge with there several other Dixie Bell retailers and we are just challenging each other to do some YouTube videos and we each have a partner and my partner is Marty Bailey out of uh, Bainbridge Island, Washington. She's with the Vintage Dog and so she is my partner and we decided to use some blue shades of Dixie Belle paint and then we sent each other a surprise that each of us had to incorporate into our piece and she was so sweet she sent me the Dixie Belle gemstone mousse in silver and it is just a really pretty uh, metallic silver if you haven't had a chance to use it yet it's a water-based product and it covers hardware really well which uh, hint, hint, I'm probably going to use it on the hardware. And it also adds beautiful detail to uh, and highlights the beautiful details on your piece. So I am excited to use this. We also have several other retailers involved in this fun challenge. We have Kim over at Texas Vintage Addiction. We have Danielle at Shops and Mangrew. We have Levon at La Vintage Decor. And we have Terry at Sisterhood of the Traveling Paints. So um, be sure to catch their videos at the end of this. I think you'll enjoy every single one. We're all surprising each other with our projects. N none of us really know what each other's doing. And so that makes it really fun too. I found this gorgeous Art Deco vanity at a thrift store in the St. Pete area. And I loved the detail on it. It is um, what they call a waterfall Art Deco vanity. It's solid wood, definitely an antique, probably from the 20s or 30s. So uh, I'd love to imagine um, the time period and what you know somebody might have been liked when they used it. And I'm thinking this was a very glamorous piece um, for a, a very glamorous gal. So I want to bring the glamour back to this piece. So after considering a couple of different blues, I've decided to mix a custom color for this gorgeous piece. And I'm going to use cotton. Dixie Bell Blue and Vintage Duck Egg. And I'm going to mix the three of them with just a little bit of the Vintage Duck Egg and um, create kind of a light, light blue, soft and very glamorous. So the custom color came out really pretty. It is a soft blue, the Duck Egg, the Dixie Bell Blue and Cotton. And you can see I've painted a little bit of white along the base and I'm going to do the trim in white and then I'm going to cover the whole piece in the custom color. And then when I distress, in some areas, the white will come through. So I'm ready to get started painting in the pretty blue. I've got a damp brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole piece blue. on its beautiful Art Deco hardware. The finish has been rubbed off over the years and I'm applying a new finish. I'm using Dixie Belle Gemstone Mousse and Diamond and I am just applying that with a small artist brush and I have already cleaned my hardware. So I simply paint on the Gemstone Mousse. A thin layer is full coverage. Just one, like one coat. This is a water-based product and it's wonderful for hardware and to add sparkle on your pieces. And here is the before and after. I'm painting the sides of my drawer with Hurricane Gray by Dixie Belle. Dixie Belle's gemstone mousse is great for stenciling. This is the color diamond and I'm going to stencil the side of this vanity's drawer for just the added interest and whimsy. And I'm just using a cosmetic sponge. I just use a pouncing motion, holding the stencil down as I go, or you can apply 
the stencil adhesive if you like. using this cute dot stencil and I'm alternating the drawers with the different stencils for some added fun. To finish up my drawers I am applying hemp oil to the insides and this will renew the wood and give it a nice sheen. So, so far this adorable vanity has had two coats of the Dixie Belle Custom Mix paint. It's been cleaned from the inside out and I applied hemp oil to the insides of the drawers. And I've also painted the sides of the drawers and applied a stencil with the Dixie Belle Gemstone Mousse just for an added pop of detail. And now I am going to do a little bit of wet distressing with uh, some water and a sanding sponge and I'm just going to highlight the details here and um, just make them pop a little bit more. up of the wet distressing and you can see that some of the white paint that I had on underneath is coming through as well for added interest. The first part of this vanity makeover is finished. I've applied the hardware after buffing with a soft cloth and I have finished most of the distressing and so here is the finished vanity. Let me push it so you can see it and oops, a little too far. There we go. Um, I am going to probably add a little more detail and that will be in part two of the Art Deco Vanity Makeover. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.